हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन योर लाइफ माय सेल्फ फिक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी व्हाट इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो टुडे वी आर गोना स्टार्ट दिस न्यू सीरीज इन इन विच यू यू आर गोना लर्न जावा स्क्रिप्ट फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग टू एंड ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अराइज इज दैट वॉट इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो जावा स्क्रिप्ट इज प्राइमरीली अ क्लाइंट साइड लैंग्वेज so whatever you see on your web like on your browser whenever you open opens up any website and which is functional not static so javascript plays a very important and vital role in that particular website okay so what does javascript do so basically if, if i wanted to say that javascript makes our website or any web page response you okay so it's a event driven language like many uh we can uh invoke our javascript code uh on on happens on happening of any event so like that you can understand it so other than that javascript is a script like a scripting language okay so you might wonder like what is the basic difference between a scripting language and a programming language so let me tell you okay so if i go to my whiteboard i will i can tell you more precisely okay so let's say on left hand we have scripting language okay which includes javascript uh another example is ruby after that we have python python is also a scripting language okay and on uh, other hand in in case of programming language we have c c++ java java okay so what is the basic difference between two lang these two languages so whenever we are executing this programming languages programming languages we need a compiler so compiler you can consider as a program as a program which convert this uh, this the uh, which convert our written code to this byte code okay so this byte code is being understand by any machine it is actually a machine language okay uh, and you guys are aware about that uh, these are these uh, two numbers 0 and 1 binary numbers so binary language is the only language which is which is been understand by any machine okay so here compiler plays the role of compilation okay and in this scripting language there is no compiler compiler is not present over here and instead of compiler we have interpreter do this interpreter interprets our javascript on the browser itself so on every browser this interpreter is present okay and you, you might be amazed like writing this scripting language is very easy and writing this programming language is uh, it takes a lot 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 of time to learn as well okay so javascript is based like javascript syntax if you see it it, it will look like c and c++ if you know this language then it will like you will find out that scripting language is based on these particular languages only programming languages only okay after that why like what is the basic like a history of javascript okay so javascript was first invented by a scientist or a developer by the name brendan each okay so brendan each is the one scientist who invented this javascript in 1995 so at first the javascript was developed for what which company netscape netscape 2 and after that it was hand over to ecma so now at present ecma is the is is the company which is are uh, responsible for maintaining javascript and any upgradation if is there then ja like ecma is responsible and right now like we can see there are many update updatations and upgradations in javascript as es1 2 es6 is the latest one in 2018 okay so that's a basic history behind behind this javascript and in today's world javascript is be, is being primarily used in our client side language and yeah after that we have like why should we use javascript why should one learn javascript is it that important yes guys 
it is that important because see javascript can create outstanding products as we can see in today's market our facebook our facebook is uh, like dependent on react js okay so this javascript library was been invented for developing facebook's news feed section back then in 2012 okay so that react js was also based on react like javascript library react js is what it's a javascript library so like react js we have another so many libraries okay the second thing is about its high performance so it will give you a high performance application after that the third one is it runs everywhere okay as you can see in any browser it it will run okay let's take off our chrome browser so in chrome browser we have v8 engine which was developed by our uh, our very own uh, google okay after that previously this javascript only used to run on our client side but nowadays as we can see as we progress we can we can make our javascript run on our local machines as well basically on server side with the help of node js that is a back end back end uh, framework we can say and to support node js we have express js it's another javascript library that we can use uh with node js to make our server side programming okay so that's that's the use of javascript okay after that uh, it speeds up our delivery okay so we can javascript is like very easy to write so it can speed up our delivery in that way okay so the latter part is what is the or which is the most famous programming language in today's timing so that is javascript as you can see in 68 as you can see on slide like it is covering over of 68.62% of world's developer okay so if you don't believe let me just show you on browser also like which is the most famous programming language okay in the world let's say in world okay so you can see javascript is the most commonly coding language that is being used today and you can see in here like javascript okay i think this is the this is the old data actually but as you can see in the top top programming language is javascript yeah so that is all javascript for you and let's say uh, if i wanted to show you one code with javascript okay so this is my index.html page guys and inside that i have written a title of hello world okay so this is our html and in the previous tutorial i have taught you how to like uh, use css inside inside our tags so let me just do one thing let me just take one tag that is div tag and inside div tag we will take one uh let's say click me and let me just do one thing okay so i have to took one button and i am just saving this page and let me just open this over here on browser so yes you can see here is our button click me and let's say if i want to perform any action over this button so in that case our st our js will comes into picture so as i previously also mentioned that js is a event event driven language so on clicking this like any event will be happen okay so this event is called on click so let's say in button i can say on click something should happen on click on on click so let's say on on click click function is getting invoked so what are this function and all these things we will taught you in our upcoming lectures so don't worry about that just uh, listen to me first of all and in script tag so if if i want to write my js inside html i need to like write all that code in our script tag so let's say i am taking a function of click and let's say i am logging out clicked okay this is a very simple program i will i will try to explain this program in our next video right now just see what happens okay whenever i am clicking on this program 
and on the right side you can see we are in console of our chrome developer tools like what is happening over here mm, let me let me see once again yeah could not load contain for chrome extension there is some error i guess So instead of this click, let's uh, let us name our function as hello, and by clicking on hello, okay. Now let us see once more time. Yes, see as you can see, whenever I am clicking on this click me button, this click is getting invoked. I am able to see the click in console. So like this, whatever whatever happening inside our websites which are responsive so that is all happening just due to javascript so i hope you, ha you have gotten the idea of what is javascript and what is its history so that is all set for today's video and i will see you in next video guys until then just keep following this javascript series and you will get to know all about javascript in depth thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in next video bye bye